So people have puzzled for a long time why humans have music at all. Darwin wrote about what a mystery it was that all human societies have music because, as he pointed out, it's not like vision or language or speech, which all have obvious adaptive value, enabling us to stay alive and thrive. Why do we have music? It's totally not clear. My lab looks at the functional organization of the adult brain, and we've found lots of regions that are engaged in very specific mental functions, from face recognition to understanding language to perceiving music. And so we wondered for years how all that stuff gets wired up in development and how it knows where to go in the brain. My name is Heather Koskowski. I'm a postdoc at Harvard working with Randy Buckner. But before that, I was at MIT where I was a graduate student working with Rebecca Sachs and Nancy Kanwisher, and I studied human infant brains. Most of the studies that have been done using fMRI or fNIRS haven't used well-matched acoustic controls. So that's what we wanted to do here. So Heather Kosakowski is just an amazing force of nature who is, has unbelievable skills in scanning infants. And for this study, she scanned an incredible 45 infants after inventing her own uh, infant scanning coil, infant headphones. This was not an easy experiment to run. And then we uh, created a whole new stimulus set of speech and music sounds where we hired a bunch of musicians and some moms to come in and record for us. We also used a model matching algorithm developed by Sam Norman Hagner to create model match stimuli for the music and speech sounds. Um, the model match stimuli were matched on the spectral temporal uh, properties of the original intact music and speech stimuli. And we hypothesized that if infants have a selective response to music, then the music response should be greater than both speech and the spectral temporally matched stimuli. Similarly, we hypothesized that if infants have a speech selective response, they should have a greater response to speech than to music or the spectral temporally matched speech stimuli. It was a, enough of a surprise a few years ago when we found music selective neural populations in adults. But now what Heather's shown is that those selective responses seem to be present by one month of age in infants. And that further suggests that you don't need a huge amount of experiential training to wire up that selectivity. It's ready to go and it's present really early. And so that will influence a lot of theorizing about how music perception develops. And I think a lot of people that are interested in music perception and music and development are gonna be very excited by these results. A caveat of these results is that this is the first time somebody's found such strong music selective responses in babies so young. And so these results are going to need to be followed up and confirmed and explored further.